What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So, uh, yeah, just trying to catch up with my boxing. Uh, to those who don't know, I was out basically for a whole week, uh, out on uh, vacation, out on holiday, and now I'm back. And uh, while I was gone, uh, last Friday on the twenty eighth, the twentieth of uh, May, uh, John Pascal and Fan Long Meng fought on uh, Pro Box TV over in uh, Florida fight ended up going the distance it went the whole 12 rounds and John old John Pascal somehow pulled it off and apparently this is a clean John Pascal to those who don't know um, he, he was caught with multiple banned substances in his system a couple years ago uh, a few years ago actually and um, you know he came back with this fight apparently clean because uh, I think Vada is uh, uh, keeping an eye on him and um, he he won he won <laughs> which uh i honestly did not expect um i tried to find the full fight here on youtube but it looks like pro box tv is doing a good job taking it out um i don't know how else to watch it i guess you can watch it on pro box tv um but based off what the clips that i've seen and based off the articles and reactions i've seen it looks like uh pascal definitely won an arguably close fight uh, I've seen people say that the knockdown was the difference in the fight. Uh, people said it was not the cleanest knockdown, that it wasn't, you know, an actual knockdown. But, you know, in the end, John Pascal ended up getting the win. 114-113, uh, 115-112, 116 111 all in favor of John Pascal. And with this win, John Pascal is back. Um, he <laughs> still has it, man, at 39 years old. Like I said, apparently this is a clean John Pascal, um, because I, I'm I'm convinced that uh, you know Pascal was had something in him when he definitely fought Marcus Brown and Badu Jack. At least I think so, um, in my opinion. But uh, you know apparently Vada is testing him, so we'll see uh, how he does moving forward after this win. It's a very good win for Pascal. Don't get me wrong. He he went in there after being out for uh, two and a half years, almost three years. I think going three this December, and uh, to beat. One of the top contenders in Fan Long Meng, who now suffers his first loss in his pro career. Going into this fight, Meng was in a very good position in the sanctioning bodies. If you guys don't know, if you look at the 175 pound division, Meng was once number one by the IBF. He was number eight by the WBO, number nine by the WBC. So he was, he was <laughs> you know, in the top ten by three sanctioning bodies, number one by one of them. And uh, he ends up losing this fight. So now he's going to lose that position for the IBF. And um, who knows what's next for Fan Long Max. A tough loss. A tough loss for him. Um, yeah, he, he he needs to be more active. The past couple of years, he only fought once in 2021. Did not fight at all in 2020. Um, yeah, he needs to be a little bit more active. Um, and hopefully he fights again before the end of the year to, to, to rebound from this loss. And uh, try to get back to winning ways uh, instead of taking a long layoff. So, anyway. Um, good win for John Pascal. Congrats to him. Definitely proved me wrong. And uh, looking forward to seeing what's next. And if you did see the fight, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, like I said, it looks like uh, Pro Box TV is doing a good job taking it down here on YouTube. Um, by the way, it, it's cheap, Pro Box TV. I didn't get the chance to sign up for it because, like I said, I was out on vacation. I, I was avoiding boxing as much as possible while I was out for the past week. Um, but it's pretty cheap. It's two dollars a month or twenty dollars for the whole year. So, so yeah, it's definitely a a, a price uh, worth checking out, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.